Welcome to the launch of Realme GT Neo 3. We are thrilled to welcome you to the most exciting and awaited launch of this year. We would like to thank our fans, media and partners who have joined us today. Thank you so much for your support. This day is full of amazing launches, exciting sessions and interactions. Now, without any further ado, let's call on stage the man himself who is driving innovation to the next level. Everyone, please welcome Madhav Seth, VP Realme. Awaited on ground event after a span of two years, and nothing can be better than starting with a launch of our flagship Realme GT Neo 3 event. And I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to address you all in person again, all of you guys with me in this hall. Today, I'm pretty excited to reveal a lot of surprises which we have in store for you. The event is going to be really special for me for a lot of things, as we are going to make a lot of startling announcements today we'll be announcing one of the latest smartphone and the newest smartphone which all of you guys are well aware of it but along with it we'll be launching few AIoT products and last but not the least I'll be taking you through the latest developments happening within Realme as we all know there's a great potential in the interactive and the personalized smart devices our goal is to achieve that basically to create a smart connected and a trendy lifestyle for the users worldwide Hence, we have upgraded our OnePlus 5 Plus T strategy and make sure that we drive the connectivity and the potential of the Realme Tech Life ecosystem. Today, we'll be launching not only the phones, but any wild guess how many products we are going to launch? That's not enough. I think five. Wild guess is five products. Yes. Today, we'll be launching five products, including our AIoT. As I said, our AIoT ecosystem is extremely important. We'll be launching world's first 150 watt charging solution, GT Neo 3. That's. And the Realme Bad Mini. And the Realme Smart TV. And the Realme Buds Q2S. And at the same time, a special version for the Realme Buds Edge 3. This is what I was looking for, you know. I don't like that launch event which are more recorded. I like the launch event where I can, you know, interact with the fans. And thank you very much for giving, coming over here. But today, before Sri and Shada reveal the products in details, I would like to take everyone to some of the latest developments at Realme, as I said. I believe that tough and challenging time gives rise to winners, innovators, disruptors, and last but not the least, the very strong partnerships which we had like with Flipkart and our trade partners. Thank you very much once again with the Flipkart team and the trade partners. Thank you very much. <laughs> last but not the least, my media friends and the fans, without your support, we wouldn't have been standing over here. 2022, we started with a downfall for many, but Realme stood true to its spirit of dare to leave and became the number three smartphone brand with a 40% year on year growth. Nobody has achieved this growth in this year, but we have achieved 40% growth year on year in Q1 itself. Realme is determined with the spirit of dare to leap. In the early half of April, we launched our first premium product, which was Realme GT2 Pro in India. This is the one of the kind device and which had delivered a knockout milestone performance, believing the fastest and becoming the fastest selling Android premium flagship phone on the flip card. First phone, first premium phone, even again the first fast selling phone and on the Android platform, which is the, one of the big achievements. This gives us the confidence. Not just in India, but the GT2 Pro has seen a roaring success worldwide. In the global markets, the sales of GT2 Pro flagship have sold more than 550% over the previous quarter, of the previous generations. Today, we have more than 5 million users of the GT series already in the market. Thanks again for your support and the milestone, which has strengthened our confidence to deepen our presence in the premium market. 
This has given the confidence that basically premium smartphone is not only for two different brands, but a lot of brands can experiment. A brand who has innovation, a brand who can bring disruptions, I think the premium segment is for this. And that's why I believe that basically the consumers are looking for more innovations and disruptions rather than just a brand logo. As designs being one of the fundamental pillars of Realme, we showcase our GT2 Pro for the first time at the Lakme Fashion Week and at the Born to Shine events concert tours. And the response was fabulous. Our innovative paper tag designs were very well appreciated. Not only in India, but while in Europe, the GT2 series has attracted countless fans to line up in the long queues to buy during the cyber tennis flash store events across the six European countries. Brands started from India going to the Europe and now it's among the one of the most fastest growing brand even in Europe. Thank you very much for all the contributions what you guys have given to us. On reviewing every milestone of our Go Premium strategy, we found that the innovation was a factor of a paramount importance. Hence, we continue to capitalize on two important pillars starting from day one, which was Realme, which was performance and designs. But when it comes to designs, Realme as the youngest player has turned the smartphone industry with the inspiring designs. And we have experimented with the product materials such as photochromic, paper tech, fluorescent and multiple other products which are distinctive as well as notable. We have also introduced many cross-defined designs such as master designs from Nato Fukasawa, one of the most famous industrial designer. At the same time, Realme Design Studio has been at the heart of all these breakthrough innovations. Grabbing this opportunity, I would like to proudly introduce all of you guys, Realme Design Studio from where all the phenomenal products and the visual designs in the industries first mobile design studio gather talented designers from Realme and welcoming potential new designers who resonate with our design philosophy which is IDEA. Now people will ask me, what's IDEA? Yeah, IDEA is an advanced design philosophy which we at Realme follow, which is inceptive, which is diversified, which is enhanced and authentic. This concept built the design principles of Realme design studio and empower product designs which are the key fundamental pillar for Realme. To promote and strengthen the connections of our designers, we have set up two brick and mortar studios, one in India and one in Europe. This will help us to get more localized design concepts and inspirations through collaborations with the top design schools and also exploring more crossovers with the top local designers. Beside designs, innovation, which is the second fundamental pillar for Realme, the other thing that makes Realme extremely stand again, uh, apart from the industry is the technology innovation. In the past three years, we have tried to bring the industry's first innovation to the Indian market. This focus upon the diverse aspects such as fast charging, maybe gaming, as well as the cooling technology. Talking about the fast charging, Realme was the first brand to showcase the technology of 125 watts in 2020 and the fastest magnetic wireless dart charging, MacDart, in 2021. And today we are going to introduce the GT Neo 3 with the world's first 150 watt charging solution. As we are talking about the innovations, which is in batteries, let's also talk about an exciting addition which we are going to make today to our tablet portfolio. As I said, Realme entered the tablet segment in 2021 and ended the year on a very, very positive note. Today, we are the number one selling brand in the tablet category, again on Flipkart. Thank you very much. Today, we'll be introducing the second tablet, the Realme Pad Mini. We call it Mini Powerhouse because it has the largest battery capacity with the slimmest body in the segment. Among the many IoT categories, the Realme has also entered and conquered over the past few months. Smart TV is one of them. Happy to share that among the smartphones, our Realme Smart TV are also 100% manufactured in India. Right? A lot of people have this question, so hence I wanted to clarify today. Realme smartphones and Smart TVs are 100% manufactured in India. In 2021, Realme Smart TV shipments grew by 72% year on year as counterpoint research and we are one of the most preferred smartphone smart TV brand. Continuing the trend to grow further in the segment. Today, we are introducing the latest smart TV from Realme, Realme Smart TV X Full HD, 
which will be powered by MediaTek super fast processor and the latest Android platform. Let's also talk about the details further, but before I move to the prices, I think I let me introduce you to the product. Please welcome Sri on the stage. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi. Hi everyone. Uh, it's actually really nice to f see people, people's faces in 3D finally rather than seeing everyone in computer screens. So uh, this is a very special day and what a beautiful day uh, to have such a large launch event. We've, uh, we've gone to talk about a few products. What I will start with of course is our smartphone for today. We've always been the front runner in bringing powerful high performance smartphones to everyone, and this especially holds true for the GT Neo series. Now, of course, I often get asked, what is Neo? Why did you go with the name Neo? Now, we wanted to bring a new kind of speed with the GT Neo series and give our fans and our users a thrilling smartphone experience. Also, Keanu Reeves might have had a small part to play in it. Neo has represented speed for us. Take the GT Neo 2, for example, I mean, be it the Snapdragon 870 chipset, be it the 65 watt super dark charge or the super smooth 120 hertz refresh rate display, the GT Neo 2 had unprecedented performance. Moving on, let's move on to the next slide. Yeah, so on interacting with Realme fans and users, of course, from all over the world, we always take feedback and we realize clearly there is a need for speed among our users. We want to define a new kind of speed with the GD Neo series to bring a transformative smartphone experience for all our users, a lot of you sitting here. The next generation of GD Neo amps up the versatility quotient, delivering whatever you need, whenever you need. Let's have a look for ourselves. Some lives revolve around speed. Pedal to the metal is our starting line, and the race track pulls us in like gravity. This is a tribute to racing legends who dared to rewrite history. Speed limits didn't apply. Racing stripes, a design emblazoned with speed, the spirit of those pioneers lives on in the GT Neo 3, still in pursuit of greater performance. It's our time to jump into the cockpit, Turn the ignition and fire up the engine. Here's to the racing legends who push us to redefine limits. GT Neo 3, a Neo Speed Awakens. Seems like you like it. Uh, with the GT Neo 3, this is a result of tireless efforts that, of course, we all invested into the product. And this is a big milestone for Realme. Now, of course, I can't wait to talk about the obvious thing, the design on the GT Neo 3. The GT Neo 3 brings together the excellence of design and meaningful innovations. And now, let's break down these two simple yet very significant focus areas on the GT Neo 3, style and speed. Let's start with style first. This tribute to speed cannot be complete without the inspiration from motorsport. Of course, what these two stripes remind you of, I mean, it's, un, it, it's you cannot miss it. Uh, and when it comes to cars, when it comes to racing cars, it, it seems like the best representation of style and speed that transcends time. The Realme GT Neo 3 seeks to commemorate the rivalry between automakers in the 1960s. I'm sure all of you are, or most of you are aware of it, uh, of course, against each other at the Le Mans. The spirit of this competition lives on in the Le Mans racing stripes that adorn the back of the GT Neo 3. The Le Mans inspired iconic racing stripes are a core design ethos directly inherited onto the back of the GT Neo 3. We achieve these spectacular racing stripes by applying five layers of nanofilms directly on top of each other, of course, to enhance especially that white color tone. Also, it'd be interesting for you to know that the GT Neo 3 is especially the back area is made out of a single piece of glass of of course anti glare glass so you're not going to have a lot of trouble with fingerprints also 
uh, if you've tested out Realme devices, used Realme devices, you know how serious we are about our ergonomics. So the GD Neo 3 is incredibly thin at 8.2 millimeters and just 188 grams light. The device also comes in three vintage colors. So of course, my favorite one, if, if you already don't know from what I'm wearing or what I'm pointing to the most, the nitro blue. Uh, also, if you are someone who likes the monochromatic style more, then you have the sprint white. And if you are one of those who wants matte black everything, then there is the asphalt black. Let's talk about that display now. I'm sure the smartphone display is as important to you as it is to me. It is, of course, our entry into the digital world, our window into the digital world. So we decided to equip a GD Neo 3 with one of our most advanced 120 hertz reality displays. We brought the largest display size in Realme history, just like the GD2 Pro. We've increased the display size to 6.7 inches, paving the way for a better overall viewing experience. Also, thanks to the most advanced COP packaging process. So COP is how we bend the display from the bottom and give you that incredibly thin bottom and side bezels. Of course, the bottom bezel is where the COP helps. Uh, we've been able to hit very, very high screen to body ratios. It'll almost feel like you're, uh, you're just holding a futuristic piece of glass in your hand. If you compare it to one of the most popular smartphones on the market, we have an even, even thinner bottom bezel allowing you to gain more from your display. This is yet another prime example of our innovation feed. And as I mentioned, that screen to body ratio, we have 94.2% screen to body ratio on the GT Neo 3. Also, when it comes to color accuracy, the reality display is ca calibrated against some of the best panels in the market. So this is our all new reality display combining the length, large 94.2% uh, screen to body ratio, the display with Full HD plus resolution, a JNCD, which is the color accuracy of, of color accuracy of 0.4 DC dimming. This is a display that I mean, there's everything you, that you could ask or need from a display. The Realme GT series has a long-standing reputation of speed and performance as well. First, let's jump to the most important one, of course, the one that we've been talking about, that the one that you see here, the 150 watt ultra dark fast charging. For the last four years. Thank you. For the last four years, we've been consistently invested in innovating and developing the fastest, most efficient charging experience possible. Now, as our fans and our friends know, most Realme smartphones come equipped with Dart or Super Dart charge. So we went from 18 watts up to 65 watt Super Dart. Well, it's time to take a new leap with our breakthrough innovation in fast charging technology, which I believe, of course, will set a new standard for not just us, but for the entire industry. The GT Neo 3 is the world's fastest 150 watt charging flagship. Well, it is a huge leap forward, as I said, for not just for us, but for the entire industry. And now you'll see uh, how the industry standard levels up, hopefully. As you can see, the Realme GT Neo 3 has received 121 charging subscore in DxO Mark testing, this is actually the highest charging subscore that any smartphone has achieved on DxO Mark. Well, our vision with the 150 watt ultra dark charge is threefold. First, of course, fast charging. Second is that's fast charging, so you need to ensure safety. And since we are giving you a charger that's 150 watt, why not make it compatible with as many devices as possible? So let's start with, of course, the fast charging. 150 watt ultra dark charge can fuel GD Neo 3 to 50% in just five minutes. Incredible. And, and once you use it, I don't think you can go back to any other phone. Now, you can have your phone quickly charged up while maybe making up a cup of tea or a cup of coffee for you in the morning. And battery anxiety can be a thing of the past. Now, let's go through a quick video to see how quick it is. Yeah. Well, fast commercial for our fast charging phone.
Well, the 150 watt ultra dot charge is also up to 700% faster than our first dot charge. So you can see the leap. I mean, it's. We don't realize sometimes when tech moves so quickly, but the leap is incredible. And now you can get a full, like, get charge for a day's worth in just five short minutes. Now, uh, of course, we've talked about the speed, so let's talk about safety. Safety is paramount when it comes to building the 150 watt ultra dot charge. Uh, we want the charging to be fast, but also as safe at the same time. Now, keeping user safety in mind, we've included dual chipsets. So there are two dedicated charging chipsets in the GT Neo 3 to keep charging temperatures at an, opti at an optimal level and also intelligently optimize the battery lifespan with, of course, charge cycles. And, and many of you know what charge cycles are. I'll talk about that. We call this the Ultra Dart Dual Adaptive Chipset. It features multiple safety protection features that can easily tackle overcharging, over discharging, overheating, short circuit, and other faults and giving you multiple layers of protection for both the battery and, of course, eventually your smartphone, the GT Neo 3. What's more is that TUV Rhineland agrees with us, gives us a certification for the charging, which means that you can chuck all your worries about safety with charging on the GT Neo 3. Now, I talked about battery charge cycles. What is a charge cycle? The charge cycle is the cycle where your char battery charges from 0 to 100 and 100 to 0. And generally, in a, in a battery, the battery's lifespan is actually calculated in cycles. And for a standard battery, this is somewhere uh, where the charge cycles stay. With the GT Neo 3, we don't only maintain this at 80% capacity at 800 cycles, but we are able to give you 1,600 plus cycles and still maintain 80% plus battery capacity. And to, for you to go through 1,600 cycles, I mean, you all know how long you're going to take. It's, it's going to be years before you, before, you, before you go through 1,600 cycles. So you can still use the smartphone for several years without having any anxiety, any battery anxiety. Yeah, moving on. The 150 watt ultra dot charge comes with a lot of charging standards as well. That was the third part, the compatibility. So there's power delivery, there's PPS, there's QC. So you can enable fast charging to other supported devices as well. We are very cordial like that. We want this charger to be the one charger to rule them all so, so that you carry this charger in your bag and you can charge any device that you want, be it the laptop, be it your tablet, be it your smartphone, any other smartphone as well. We, we are nice like that. All these smart features have been added to ensure that the ultra dot charge is not only lightning fast, but also reiterating again, safe to use. Now let's watch a video to see ultra dot charge in action. The clock is ticking. The stakes are high. The heat is on. It's time to release the speed. Come on, feel the energy down to the core. An ultra-powerful chip conducting a symphony. Harnessing energy in perfect rhythm, reaching a crescendo of might so that you stay cool. When things get tough, embrace this moment in the immortal power. Look at you, a Neo you. Revived in a snap. Real me, GT Neo 3. Neo Speed Awakens. I mean, even I have to clap for that. Uh, now let's talk about the engine. You heard the vroom. So lot, let's talk about the engine of the GT Neo 3, the processor. The GT Neo 3 sports the latest flagship Dimensity 8100 chipset from MediaTek. The 5 nanometer based processor brings huge breakthrough in performance and power efficiency as well. The chipset has four Cortex A78 cores clocked at 2.85 gigahertz, delivering breakneck speed at unprecedented scale. I mean, it's ridiculous how fast this thing is. The Mali G6106 core GPU delivers faster graphic performance for your AAA titles as well. The 5 nanometer Dimensity 8100 chipset also makes the GT Neo 3 outrageously fast and powerful. The GT Neo 3 offers a massive boost in performance in both multi-core and single-core performance and also, of course, frame rate performance in games. 
faster RAM and faster storage also make sure that this stays up. So the GD Neo 3 comes equipped with UFS 3.1 storage and LPDDR5 RAM to make sure, make sure that your performance is the best through and through. This means that you can launch apps, play games within seconds without worrying about your device truly slowing down. And the 8100 will surely do that for you. As we just saw, the world's first 150 watt charging flagship GT Neo 3 is fast in every way, from charging speed to raw performance. Speaking of fast speed, we can't forget charging. Now, we had 65 watt super dot charge in the GT Neo 2 and a 5000 mAh battery. This time, we are also not just bringing the 150 watt ultra dot charge architecture, but also an 80 watt super dot charge variant for you to choose, which means that your charging time is still, compared to the GT Neo 2, going to be increased much and, and going to give you a better charging speed overall. At the same time, we understand the value of long battery life, which is why we have included a 5000 mAh battery. And with the 80 watt super dot charge, that combination is a flagship combination. Firstly, the peak charging power on the 80 watt has obviously increased and is about 20% higher compared to the 65 watt super dot charge. Secondly, with super fast charge speed, phone can be charged from 0 to 50% in still just 12 minutes. Besides peak power and charge control, temperature control is also optimized well. And just like the 150 watt variant, the battery's charge cycles will still be maintained at 80% plus capacity after 1600 plus charge cycles. I mean, these numbers are incredible. And if, if, if they don't seem like that, I mean, it's because of how quickly the technology is moving ahead. To sum up, we have made four major upgrades for 80 watt super dot charge, including peak power, charge speed, temperature control, and of course, a lot of control on the battery capacity after charge cycles. However, we didn't just stop there. We've also improved the speed of the GT Neo 3 across three major areas, higher, and more consistent frame rates, that's one. There's faster and more effective heat dissipation, that's second, and also faster connectivity. So we'll start, of course, with the frame rate first. Today, most apps and games are developed with the goal of hitting a frame rate of 60 FPS or above. A good frame rate is, of course, important for your overall experience. This is especially true when you're playing games. Now, I'm glad to tell you that the GT Neo 3 is Realme's first smartphone ever to have a dedicated display processor, which boosts performance of supported mobile games, especially on the visuals. This means the GT Neo 3 can reduce unintended motion blur and judders while, of course, enhancing every in-game frame rates by 100 FPS. If we just include one frame in middle, you're doubling the frame rate, but not taxing the GPU enough, which is why the power efficiency increases. Now let's take an example of a popular MOBA game. Thanks to the display processor, the GT Neo 3 is able to maintain a consistent 90 FPS for full 60 minutes. And one thing, if you have tested the GT Neo 3, then you might realize is how consistent the performance is. We've also worked closely with some of our partners to let them fully utilize the power of our display processor. And we are working on a ton of games. So right now, for League of Legends, you can enjoy consistent high frame rates. And we are working with more game developers to bring support across the board. Now, talking about the second part, the heat dissipation. Uh, our engineering team has made huge progress over the last three generations. The cooling system has always been an important part of the, not just the GT Neo 3 or the GT Neo 2, but the entire GT series. And this is the best way to ensure sustained performance. And that is our focus. Say hello to the stainless steel vapor cooling system max with a total cooling area of 39,606 millimeters square. This is, this is very large. I mean, the GT2 Pro already had 36,000 at one of the largest in the industry, and 39,000 just takes it to a crazy level. That's almost a 7% increase, as I mentioned, versus our previous solution. We've kept the size of the stainless steel vapor chamber that sits right on top of the chipset to 4,129 millimeters square to ensure efficiency of heat dissipation. To begin with, nine cooling layers are strategically placed throughout the GT Neo 3 to ensure 100% coverage of heat sources. By doing that, the GT Neo 3 is able to reduce the core heat source area by 19 degrees Celsius. And of course, that means better performance. In actual practice, the GT Neo 3, this is of course surface temperatures, can keep around 40 degrees Celsius while running a game at 120 FPS for over 60 minutes. 
To tell you the truth, we are really proud of this heat dissipation capability, and I believe this could be one of the best heating systems ever in a smartphone. Fast and stable connectivity, the third part, is crucial when it comes to a great mobile gaming experience. I'm sure a lot of you commuters have experienced similar issues when maybe traveling in a metro. GD Neo 3 comes equipped with dynamic base station switching, where it will scan for cell towers and get you the strongest signals in multiple directions. Uh, and of course, it will connect to them intelligently. This means you can get reliably strong mobile signals even when you're in a basement or places where signals are weak or maybe signals are just blocked for whatever reason. The Realme GT Neo 3 also comes with 12 wraparound antennas to cover all sides of the phone and supports mainstream bands in almost all directions, all with the same signal strength. With smart network enhancer, GT Neo 3 uses wireless burst technology for a more stable, consistent Wi-Fi connectivity, not to mention, of course, dual SIM latency, optimization, and Wi-Fi 6 enhanced, as well as many other software features to give you a fast network experience better than you've used in any other smartphone. Charging performance and display, of course, we've packed in with three different chipsets. You can see there's a fast charging chip, there's, of course, the processor, the charging chip, and there's a display chip, three chips in one smartphone. I mean, it's a great deal. Coming to the cameras, the GD Neo 3 is powered by the Sony IMX 766 with an optically image stabilized lens to let you capture beautiful photos in any situation. The GD Neo 3 offers one of the best low light photography in the market thanks to the flagship IMX 766 sensor. The IMX 766 flagship sensor features a large sensor size, of course, for enhanced light intake, dual stabilization, and ultra fast autofocus tech. Speaking of sensor size, the massive 1 over 1.56 inch sensor utilizes pixel binning to increase overall pixel size to 2 micron super pixels. Compared to its rivals, there's 13.6% more light intake. And more light intake, of course, means more information. There's better image resolution. There's more information to work with, even in post-processing, and eventually, of course, better low light photos. With fast image processing speeds and low light autofocusing, you can continue low light shooting comfortably. The GD Neo 3, act, uh, GD Neo 3 actually offers 62% faster low light image processing and 94% faster low light autofocus. And for low light photography, you know autofocus always is an issue. And of course, all this is possible thanks to the Imagic 780 ISP, of course, of the Dimensity 8100 chipset on the GD Neo 3. Summarizing the 50 megapixel Sony IMX 766 powered by Pro Light Imaging Technology, we let you shoot brighter photos, sharper photos and videos and also exceptional low light performance. Let me show you some low light samples. So if you take a look at these samples taken from the GT Neo 3, you'll, you'll recognize the amount of HDR capability that this ISP has. I'll maybe step aside for, a, for everyone to be able to see these, these pictures. Uh, even, even if you notice in the first image, I, I don't know how many of you can see right on top of that, that board, you can see a bird in the sky. Uh, you look at all these images, the light leaks, the contrast that has been mentioned, the details that has been maintained on the road in that area, even in that low lit situation. So the GD Neo 3 is capable, and the ISP is, of course, powerful enough to, to, to produce some incredible HDR, uh, to put out some incredible HDR performance. And that's a wrap on the GD Neo 3, packed with our most innovative features and technologies. It sports the world's fastest charging flagship at 150 watt ultra dark charge architecture, Dimensity 8100 chipset by MediaTek, stainless steel vapor cooling system max for peak sustained performance and of course a dedicated display chipset for the very first time in our smartphone for consistent high frame rate gaming. Also, there is an 80 watt super dark charge variant which still charges your phone faster than most phones that you can find in the market. The GD Neo 3 is truly special and not just because it is our fastest flagship. It represents the spirit of innovation and speed and the passion of our dedicated fans and users. Let's watch a short video to again explore the awesomeness of the GD Neo 3.
GT Neo 3. Neo Speed awakens. Realme dare to leap. At Realme, we believe that technology is an enabler for us to live the life that we want. So we don't believe that there's one smartphone that goes for everyone. Everyone has their own needs, their own personalities, their own, uh, their own way of living their life. And hence, everyone has a different pick for a smartphone. And what we believe in as Realme is creating options for our users, for our fans, for our customers, so that they can choose the device that fits them best. And now, this is not all. To talk about more products, let me hand over the stage to Sharda. Hello everyone and welcome to the launch of Realme Pad Mini. I am so thrilled to see all of you after such a long time. I hope you all are taking good care of yourselves and staying healthy. As everyone knows, last year we launched Realme's first pad, which became very popular and influenced a lot of positive feedback from our consumers. To allow Realme fans to enjoy extra portability and to even enjoy better products, this time we have brought you the all-new Realme Pad Mini. Just as the slogan encapsulates, mini yet powerful, Realme Pad Mini is a powerful all-rounder. This includes a powerful design, a powerful performance, and a powerful battery. Let's start with a powerful design. Realme Pad Mini uses an ultra-thin design, just like the Realme Pad. With a thickness of just 7.59 mm, it is the thinnest tablet in its price range. It's very comfortable to hold, with a lightweight design and it makes it very convenient to work from home. It can be taken on vacations, business trips, used for gaming, entertainment and all of it. The tablet sports a 8 MP rare camera. You can take awesome photos with ease and also record 1080p HD videos. With a whole new world of photographic possibilities, it just feels like shooting with a smartphone. Now, let's talk about the front side of the tablet. As you can see, it sports an 8.7-inch LCD HD display with unbelievable colors and clarity. The screen-to-body ratio is 84.59% for a huge field of view. Whether you're watching videos or playing games, Every detail looks vivid and clear. I can very confidently say that this is a high-quality display with absolutely flawless visuals. It is guaranteed one of the best slates to work and play. Realme Pad Mini is equipped with stereo speakers certified with Dirac. What's more, it also supports adaptive surround sound. So no matter how you place the pad, you can get the best stereo surround sound experience. Moving on, let's take a look at the powerful performance. Realme Pad Mini uses a Unisoc T616 processor, which gives a truly powerful performance. This industry-leading octa-core processor has a CPU, main frequency of 2.0 GHz, allowing Realme Pad Mini to operate with high efficiency. Made with an advanced 12 nanometer manufacturing process, the processor not only provides efficient performance, but also ensures lower energy consumption. In addition, Realme Pad Mini supports the UFS 2.1 flash memory, enabling faster app startup and faster writing speeds for cache loading. Looking at the competing products in the same price range, T616 is a very powerful processor whose performance and efficiency far surpasses other products. Compared to a competing product that uses a MediaTek Helio P22T, Realme Pad Mini's Antutu benchmark score is 67% higher. 
which means it gives you a stronger and a more efficient usage experience. We also offer a massive 64 GB storage version with an option to upgrade to 1 TB. You can store your favorite movies, pictures, and all of it without worrying about the dragging space issues. Lastly, let's talk about the powerful battery. Currently, we see that amongst the competing products, most of the products have either a 5,000 mAh battery or a 5,100 mAh battery. Although that's enough to meet the basic needs of the general users, we are always working hard to bring the best of the features for our Realme fans. It may be hard to imagine that Realme Pad Mini's ultra-thin 7.59 millimeter body manages to fit a massive 6,400 mAh massive battery. This is the largest battery capacity in its price range. To achieve this small size, big power goal, we have made multiple optimizations to the internal structure. Compared to the 5,000 mAh batteries of the competing products, Realme Pad Mini's battery capacity is strikingly 28% higher. Complemented with a 80... Complemented with an 18 watts fast charge, one charge is enough to power a whole day of use. With specs this strong, I am sure you're as excited as I am to experience the Realme Pad Mini's entertainment features. Thanks to its 6400 mAh battery and a strong Unisoc T616 processor, you can enjoy gaming for up to 8 hours. And with 60 FPS frame rate, in-game moves are super smooth. Also, this excellent battery life can power up to 15 hours of video watching. And its big 8.7 inch screen makes everything from YouTube videos to movies and immersive viewing experience. This is the all new Realme Pad Mini with everything you were hoping it would have. An ultra-thin 7.59 millimeter design, a large 8.7 inch display, delivering stunning visual appeal. The powerful processor T616 and a massive 6400 mAh battery with an 18 watts fast charge enables a highly efficient, long-lasting usage experience. I hope you all love the Realme Pad Mini. <laughs> as much as we do. Now it's time for me to introduce our new Realme Smart TV, which is one of the most competitive TV series in the segment. Realme Smart TV comes in two sizes, the 43-inch and the 40-inch. These two sizes are very popular in India, and both featuring a premium bezel-less design, as thin as 8.7 millimeter. This is the ultimate immersive smart cinema experience your living room needs. On Realme Smart TV, we use the original Chroma Boost technology, which is taken from Realme smartphones, which enhances the overall picture quality and improves the brightness, color, contrast, and clarity to deliver stunning results. Under the high-quality screen, there is a powerful processor from MediaTek. It has a powerful quad-core 64-bit architecture and ARM Cortex-A55, 1.1 GHz CPU, and a new Mali G31 MP2 GPU. The RAM of Realme TV is clocked at 2133 MHz, which is faster than the normal 1600 MHz RAM that is used in other TVs. It also supports the HDR10 video decoding, which is rarely used in this price segment. 
Additionally, it comes with HLG, which is another high quality format for exceptional good picture quality. With a visual angle of 178 degrees, you can see the TV content clearly. And it is perfect for multiple people to watch together in your family. Realme Smart TV also comes with Dolby Audio MS12B solution with two set of 24 watt speaker. These are located at the bottom of the TV and each set is composed of one full range speaker and one tweeter. The total power of these four speakers is 24 watts, which is obviously more powerful than the competing products. With the support of Dolby, uh, with the support of Dolby Audio, Realme Smart TV can split and play sound in discrete channels from different sides, that is the front, side and the rear to create a surround sound experience and increase the immersive experience. Dolby Audio also identifies the device and its audio capabilities and then makes the necessary dynamic range adjustments to give you a clear and distortion-free playback. Thanks to the independent tweeter and an advanced full range speaker, Realme TV can precisely reproduce the sound from 148 hertz to 20,000 hertz, almost covering all the frequencies that humans can hear. Realme Smart TV runs with Android 11.0 certified, and it's all about simple, helpful, and comprehensive entertainment. We rest assured that there will be no more frustrations like cumbersome searches or bad recommendations anymore. We have been working hard to create a strong and robust, robust infrastructure to ensure customer satisfaction. We already have 500 plus TV centers across India and we also cover 19,000 plus PIN codes across India to ensure quick remedial actions for service and quality related issues for our Realme TVs. It is our guarantee that your TV will be installed in 48 hours. And I am proud to say that so far, we have registered 91% customer satisfaction in our installation. We at Realme TV, we aim to expand and add 200 plus exclusive service centers for our TVs. And this is because Customer delight is what we aim to serve. And finally, we have another addition to the Buds family, the all-new Buds Q2S. These wireless headphones uh, are packed with 30 hours of playback time and a 10 millimeter diver for outstanding sound. If you are in a rush, you can get 30, uh, 3 hours of playback with just 10 minutes of charging. That's super crazy. And you also get the ENC noise cancellation when you are on a call. They are a fab choice when you are looking for quality, lightweight earbuds. And before we call it a wrap, we would like to show you the all-new Realme Air 3 Nitro Blue variant, inspired by our very own GT Neo 3. These buds... <laughs> these buds Air 3 also sport the iconic Loma-inspired racing stripes in our Horizon design, inspired by the very own GT Neo 3, and this is in the, this defines the core ethos uh, of our latest launch, which just happened today. So there you have it, a 42 dB hybrid active noise cancellation, enhanced bass, and up to 30 hours of listening time. They also come with transparency mode, so that you can hear the world around you without taking them out. It is IPX5 water resistant, 
for the times when you're sweating, when you're during a workout, or if you're getting caught in the rain. Escape the crowd with an immersive experience with the real me, Buds Air 3. Now I would like to call upon Mr. Ajay V. Yadav, Senior Vice President Flipkart, to say a few words. I, I, I can say this again. Uh, Madhav started off by saying it just feels so different, so much more energetic to be back in the room again. Two years of launches, uh, sitting in front of the computer screen. <laughs> want the product to be second launch or third launch or fourth launch in India. We want Indian products or the products that Realme brings to India or we bring to India to be the global firsts. I think that's the second thing uh, that the teams are uh, telling us. The third one, uh, Realme fans, and this is a trend that we started picking up almost uh, about two years back, almost all the phones have started looking similar. While it looks, you know, when, when they launch, they look very, very different, but then over a period of, you know, three, four months, all phones start looking similar. So the design differentiation, how phone has moved from being just a telecom device to becoming a lifestyle device or almost a fashion accessory. I love the t-shirt you guys are wearing with those two stripes. Uh, I'll request Madhav for one. Uh, the, these are the three broad trends, design, premiumization, and I'm, I'm very, very happy with the way Realme team has taken this uh, on board. And from the first Onion series back on a phone to now the uh, two stripes, it's fantastic. Uh, thank you once again. I'm loving the energy in the room. I want to thank Realme team. I want to congratulate Realme team. And I most, most, most sincerely, humbly, humbly want to thank the Realme fans out there in our success. The way Realme is growing, all the love that we've given to Flipkart, in our success, you guys are the fuel. You guys are who are keeping us honest. Thank you for that. Really appreciate it. Madhav, on the stage, my friend. Uh, uh, with my white Scorpio. <laughs> Let me showcase the phone first, right? I love it. I was talking to Madhav on the side. Uh, by the way, I'm also seeing the phone for the first time. So I was telling him when I was growing up in college, the car I used to like was the Mustang. And the Ford Mustang always has this uh, two stripes, uh, you know, running from back to forth. This is, this is phenomenal. To the design team at Realme, amazing job done. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. All right, I'll continue being on the stage. I think everybody knows what's the most uh, exciting part of the evening uh, or afternoon. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, I won't take much of the time before I reveal all the exciting parts. But thank you very much, Ajay. Thank you very much, Sri and Sharda. By the way, I think uh, Sri needs a vapor cooling chamber within himself. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, thank you very much. We are about to step into the fourth anniversary this time and we collaborated with our partners to launch our anniversary sale and it's the fourth year thank you very much once again we'll be completing our fourth year on the fourth of may and that's where the anniversary sale will be starting with all our partners we have brought our first 
gift of the season, which is for anniversary, which is GT2 as a first year, which was started on April 28th. And the second gift, you will find out soon today itself, right? I will start talking with the first product, which is Realme Buds Q2. Let me move to the pricing now, which offers one of the most compact TWS in the segment with a 30 hours of total playback featuring AI ENC at the same time a 10 millimeter dynamic bus boost driver and which also supports the quick charge. Available in three different colors, black, white and the green. The Realme Buds Q2S will be priced at rupees 1999. And will go on sale on May 2nd, 12 noon onwards on realme.com and other partners and the store nearby you. Going on to the next product, which is Realme Buds Air 3, which is a nitro blue, is inspired by the Realme GT Neo 3. And the TWS offers the same, which I think we have already launched and you have all appreciated this product. It offers a 30 hours of playback and a 42 decibel of ANC and one of the best which is in the industry. Price had to be just 4,999. And you can get your hands on the new color starting from May 4th onwards, 12 noon onwards as well on realme.com. Coming on to our powerful and the all round uh, the Realme Pad Mini. It comes with a 6400 mAh uh, 6, power battery, 8.7 inch large display, and the powerful processor. The Realme Pad Mini will be available in two different colors, which is blue and gray. It will be available in four different versions, two from Wi-Fi and two from LTE, having two variants, which is 3GB, 32GB, and 4GB, 64GB. The price of Wi-Fi, 3GB, 32GB, would be priced at rupees 10,999. The price of LTE, 3GB, 32GB variant, would be priced at rupees 12,999. There are many prices, I think you have to note it down. There are a lot of prices going to be announced today. And there's more exciting things which are coming forward. The Wi-Fi, which is 4GB, 64GB, would be priced at rupees 12,999. And the LTE, 464, would be priced at rupees 14,999. Is that enough? No, but there's something more which is going to come down. The first sale of this stunning device will be starting from May 2nd, 12 noon onwards on realme.com, Flipkart and the stores nearby you. But, as I said, there is something more which is coming for the tablets. As it's our anniversary and we wanted to give to you something. From May 2nd to May 9th, we'll be celebrating our anniversary on all our channel partners and make sure you get a special offer up to rupees 2000 off on all the variants on realme.com, Flipkart.com and stores near you. This is the next effective price. So next in line, we have the Realme Smart TV X Full HD, offering vivid vision and the stunning sound, as was Shahzai explained. The price of the 40-inch version would be 22,999 rupees. And we'll have its first sale on May 4th, 12 noon onwards. The Realme Smart TV also has a 43-inch version, and which will be priced at rupees 25,999. Again, the first sale will be starting from May 5th, 12 noon onwards. Please mark your calendar. But not only this, as I said, it's in our anniversary. We'll make sure that this time is going to be specially for all our fans. Not only that, but we have a special price for both our smart TVs. The Smart TV X Full HD 14 will be priced at rupees only 20,999 from May 4th to May 9th. And the 43 inch would be priced at rupees 22,999 from May 5th to May 9th. Both the smart TVs will be available for users on realme.com, Flipkart and the stores nearby you. The next in line and the final one, the Realme GT Neo 3, which is powered by Dimensity 8100 processor, one of the fastest processors. The Realme's first smartphone to come with a dedicated display processor to boost the display performance. The smartphone will have two variants at the same time, which is 150 watts ultra dot charging and the 80 watts super dot charge and will be available in three different colors, which is nitro blue, sprint white and asphalt black. The 80 watts 
charging variant will come with two different storage options, which is 8 GB plus 128 GB, which will be priced at rupees 36,999. And the 8 GB, 256 GB would be priced at rupees 38,999. But I think that's not enough. Somebody said yes, right? I know somebody said yes. That's not enough. It's our anniversary sale. And why not GT Neo 3 again to be added in the anniversary sale? We are coming up with the, one of the biggest surprises of the event. And I want to add more surprise by saying that fourth anniversary sale, customers can avail a discount up to rupees 7,000 rupees on realme.com Flipkart and the sold here by you. So the net effective price for the product would be only 29,999 and 31,999 for the first sale. <coughs> the, then it's available as well on realme.com, Flipkart and the stores nearby you. First sale starting on 4th of May, 12 noon onwards. Thank you very much guys. The 150 watt charging variant comes with a storage option of 12 GB, 256 GB, one variant and will be priced at rupees 42,999. Customer can also avail a discount of same 7,000 rupees on the 150 watt charging variant as well. Becoming the net effective price of 35,999 only. It's the first sale and anniversary sale. I want everyone to celebrate along with us because of all the support you have been encouraging us and making sure that basically you have always stood by Realme. Thank you very much to all my media friends and partners. Thank you very much once again. Today, I think Realme is delighted and honored to have been delivering this mind-blowing offering today. And our contribution to the tech industry has always been backed by the innovation. We have never been a strong sales or a marketing company, but we have always been a company which has given a good product at the right pricing, making sure basically we bring the best of the innovation at the best of the prices. Today we have launched amazing products. I hope you guys appreciate and give share the feedback over the demo zone. Stay safe, take care. I'll see you soon again. Thank you very much. Now, before we call it a day, do remember to visit the specially curated demo zones. The zones first will be open for our friends from the media fraternity to get a hands-on experience on the products. Our partners will be able to... Adult rate. Hello everyone, my name is JJ. Thank you for joining us today. GT Neo 2 is one of the most anticipated Realme device ever. Well, that's because this is the most polished, well-rounded flagship we have made so far. But before that, I would like to talk about Realme GT series. There have been a lot of discussions among fans and tech enthusiasts alike on what Realme GT is. So today, I would like to take the opportunity to give you some insights on what Realme GT is. With so many flagship smartphones floating around in the market, it has become more common for companies to focus on meaningless innovations just to stand out, even if they don't benefit the users. Companies pay little attention to details, the quality of material used aren't as great as it should be, which affects the overall tactile experience when using the phone. And the price of the phone also doesn't make a lot of sense. Flagship smartphones are getting more expensive each year as companies squeeze in more hardware whether you need it or not. So the mission of Realme GT Line is to make the best flagship smartphones that tech enthusiasts and power users would love to use. On the surface, this may sound obvious, but it is really hard to do it well. To do that, we have to focus on a few things. First, it is to have a deep understanding of our users' needs and wants.
That drives us to design products that strikes delicate balance between form, function, and aesthetics. That will mean in refining every details and elements obsessively. Finally, since not all innovations are beneficial to our users, we need to have the courage to focus on innovations that truly matters. And that was the inspiration and principle for our Realme GT product line. We are surprised and encouraged to see many people resonate with that product approach. A few months ago, we have launched the first Realme GT globally as the genesis of our new step into the flagship space. With a follow-up of Realme GT Master Edition and Realme GT Explorer Master Edition in collaboration with Naoto Fukusawa, the attention and response from everyone around the world was overwhelming. We are incredibly grateful and excited for the support from you guys. From there, we have kept a close eyes on your feedback on these products. In fact, we have also been looking closely at the smartphone industry trends. It used to be the case where you pay more for better specs and experience, hence the flagship price. But this is no longer the case today. The price to specs ratio of flagships has been moving in the opposite direction, where paying more doesn't necessarily mean flagship specs in all categories. Let's take a look at a typical flagship product setup to illustrate my point. You can see the top tier specs in some area, but some sacrifices were made in other areas too. That means some part of user experience are great, but may not be so in other departments. And this is what we want to change with GT Neo too. We want to build a product from a holistic approach with a smart product choices that gives tech enthusiasts and power users and well-rounded flagship experience. Everything that we have learned and accumulated from all Realme GT fans throughout this period has led to this moment. Realme GT Neo 2 is the result of many months of refinement on both software and hardware, making the user experience truly special. This is our most polished, well-rounded flagship yet. For everything you need, from flagship performance to smooth and secure software experience, well, this is everything in Neo. There's a famous quote by a great philosopher, Aristotle, saying that a whole is more than some of its parts. With smartphones, a great experience doesn't come from a single spec. Often people attribute certain specs to the overall ex experience. We think that it is not simply the case. Great smartphone experience is more than the parts. It is about getting the hardware and software working together unanimously, giving you a polished, well-rounded experience. Having said that, Realme GT 2 has one of the most impressive specs we're going to see this year. So if you are here for the specification, I'm going to share everything about it in the next 30 seconds. It runs on the latest Snapdragon 870 processor, stainless steel vapor cooling plus, features a 120Hz E4 AMOLED display, 64 megapixel triple camera, and a 5000 mAh battery with a 65 watt super dark charging. Now that the specs are out, this is it. For those of you who are interested to see what GT Neo experience is all about, let me tell you all about it. We think there are five things we have to focus on GT Neo to, to create a truly polished experience. And that's what we're going to talk about today. The first thing you notice about a product is its design. As we spend more time with our smartphone these days, it became part of how we keep in touch with people we care about. So we want to create a form factor that is comfortable to be hold on even for a long period of time. And that's why we spend a lot of time refining and iterating every last details down to 0.01 millimeter at a time. We often create a whole new prototype just to make sure we get all the elements, totality, and visual right. To do that, we have studied over 1,000 different hand samples from all around the world to understand how smartphones is influenced by the contact area with the user's palm. We learned that the ideal comfortable hand feel is where the weight and pressure distributed evenly throughout the contact area. In GT Neo 2, we concluded that there are three key areas we should focus on in order to create the ideal, comfortable hand feel. They are curvature, thickness, and material texture. So we have implemented a continuous curve back and an exact 52 degree angle. Thanks to its brilliant contour design, GT Neo 2 fits naturally at the palm of a hand with minimum contact of edges and corners. Built on remarkable precision, GT Neo 2 is just 8.6 millimeter thick and weighs at just under 200 gram. 
you will immediately notice how slim and comfortable it is in your hand when you first pick up. We have also put in extra care on parts that you might never see, but you can certainly feel it. In GT Neo 2, we have also improved the haptic experience with X-axis linear motor. So the response is now stronger and more responsive, giving you a true force feedback that feels crisp and tight. This is the kind of product choice we made to improve your experience, even if it's too small to be noticed at first glance. Let's move on to the back of the phone. This is also where our engineers and product designers spend most of their time on. We did a lot of experiments with color and glass. We make sure GT Neo 2 looks as good as it feels. Right off the bat, GT Neo 2 features a refined matte AG finish. We achieved this by making countless precise tiny corrosions on the surface of the glass to ensure the glass durability is still intact. The result is a smooth, silky, tactile feeling when you're holding onto it. All in all, from the curvature of the device to the haptic motor, Realme GT Neo 2 has the most polished hand feel and fit with refinement from inside and outside. In terms of colors, we have also made some breakthrough this time. Our team at Realme Design Studio took inspiration from digital urban nature. Reimagine what digital and nature can bring to smartphone design. Our designers work closely with complementary colors to create a harmonious colors effect that is both lively and inspiring. Let's take a look right now. Introducing Neo Green. A collusion between digital and reality. Neo Green is one of the most recognizable design visual Realme made to date. The Neo Green has a brush, sci fi like green hue to it, accompanied with a strong dash stripes running across the back. In short, Neo Green is designed specifically for the bold and energetics. The second color I want to introduce is Neo Blue, and this is also my personal favorite. This colorway is heavily inspired by the dawn of sunset in digital urban nature, consisting of a slick hint of yellow silhouette underlies with a tone of soft blue. The design asserts a sense of calming, restrained elegance that is pleasing to the eyes. So, how do you achieve this? We have studied over 200 samplings, created over 17 different prototypes in order to reach the results that we were satisfied with. The craftsmanship and color tuning put into it is impeccable, resulting in what we believe is our boldest design work to date. We achieve this desiring effect by stacking seven nano color sheets on top of one another carefully with a reflective layer right at the bottom, creating a hint of shimmering effect when the light hits, producing a calming elegance in both look and feel. In summary, from the way the device feels to how it looks, the design of GT Neo 2 is by far our most polished yet. Each colorways are elegant and inspiring in their own way and were created with the same pursuit of excellence as the rest of the design. The second thing I want to talk about is the display. The quality of display can have direct impact on our overall user experience. After all, we spend hours scrolling through content on our phone. This is why choosing top quality display for GT Neo 2 become one of the top priority. We believe a good display boils down to three things. Color reproduction, brightness, and refresh rate. And our answer to that, well, it is the E4 AMOLED panel from Samsung. In fact, this is also our largest display ever at 6.62 inch with an extreme screen to body ratio of 92.6%. Having a great hardware panel is only half of the story. Our team has carefully tuned each display parameter carefully and faithfully. From maximum brightness to the uniformity of contrast and color, that means everything you see on GT Neo 2 is as beautiful as it can be. Let's start with brightness. In terms of brightness, GT Neo 2 also has one of the brightest displays in its class, peaking at 1,300 nits. So that means you can still see your content even under direct sunlight. With a precise 10,240 brightness levels, 
auto brightness now can adjust the display brightness intelligently to a more comfortable setting. As for color, the all-new E4 AMOLED display has an excellent color reproduction that reaches P3 100% with a contrast ratio of 5 million is to 1. That means content are expressed in more natural and accurate colors. Blacks are more blacks, and whites are more whites. GT Neo 2 now also supports HDR10+. This is a technology that enhances the color and contrast dramatically, so that your content playback experience with each scene looks as the director intended to. The display also comes with a high refresh rate at 120Hz. That means any content you experience on GT Neo 2 can get up to 100% smoother compared to other phones. GT Neo 2 can adjust its refresh rate based on the content automatically, so that battery saving is assured while ensuring the overall imaging quality is at its highest. If you compare it with the display from iPhone 13, you can see that GT Neo 2 is able to maximize the battery life much better. In addition, GT Neo 2 also offers a touch sampling rate of 600 hertz which means the display searches for your input 600 times for in one second, making the display response to your touch in no time. Well, with all these additional display features and innovations, we are still able to improve the overall power saving by 15%, or in actual practice, that's about 30 minutes additional usage. Now, if you compare Realme GT Neo 2 display against some of the premium flagship, such as S21 and iPhone 13, you can see that the display technology is on par, and even better in some areas, such as contrast ratio, peak brightness, and touch sampling rate. On top of that, it also has display technologies such as DC dimming, multi-level brightness adjustment, and more. In summary, this is by far our best display technology yet. What's the point of having a great display if the quality of speakers is mediocre? So, we have put in a serious pair of stereo speakers and we have even tied up with Dolby for the Dolby Atmos. So, with Dolby Atmos support, you have this three-dimensional audio experience that you deserve. The third thing I want to talk about today is performance. But first, let's get the specs of the way before we dive into deeper. GT Neo 2 is powered by the Snapdragon 870. This is the first decision we made when building the GT Neo 2. There are actually very few phones sold using this chipset. But since we are focused on speed and stability in this device, this is the obvious choice. The leading Snapdragon 870 processor is built on a 7 nanometer process technology with booster performance from the predecessor. The 4 Cryo 585 CPU performs insanely fast at 3.2 GHz each. This is one of the fastest single-core performance Qualcomm offered to date. It also features the latest Arduino 650 GPU with performance up to 10% faster than its predecessor. Something that we are trying to achieve with GT series is sustained performance. Most of our phone brand today tries to impress you with best benchmark score, but often these are just peak benchmark scores. And, bench, and peak benchmark score doesn't tell the whole story. That's because peak performance do not often equate to sustained performance. While we think peak performance benchmarks are nice, we believe sustained performance is what truly matters in giving you a consistent, fluid experience. That means we need a heat dissipation system that is effective and efficient. So our team set a goal for ourselves, and that is to come up with the most efficient heat dissipation system. And we want to solve this with the all-new Stainless Steel Vapor Cooling Plus. This is by far our most polished heat dissipation system yet. Let me tell you more about it. We have improved this cooling system from the original Realme GT in three key areas. Thermal paste material, cooling area size, and overall cooling system structure. Let's talk about the cooling structure. This time around, we have implemented an eight-layer cooling system structure in GT Neo 2 to dissipate heat more effectively. The second improvement we have made was to increase the total area of stainless steel VC heatsink to 4,129 mm square. This is also by far our largest stainless steel VC heatsink yet. 
The total increment of overall cooling area is up by 30% from previous generation found on Rumi GT. What that means is that the stainless steel VC heatsink now covers 68% of motherboard area and 42% of battery area. So the heat dissipation speed are more effective and efficient at the same time. Let's see how it works in actual practice. The result is a decreased CPU temperature area by 18 degrees Celsius and 20% increase in heat transfer efficiency. So it can run at peak performance for a longer period of time. Next, I would like to introduce an all-new thermogel compound in GTO2. We are calling it Diamond Thermogel. Realme GT Neo 2 is also the first smartphone in the world to use charged thermal compound. In case you are wondering, the thermal compound actually contains 20% mesh diamond dust. You might ask, what's the advantage of using diamond in the thermal gel? Well, that's because diamond is a better thermal conductive material compared to other materials. You can expect up to 50% more effective heat transfer in actual practice. So, how does our stainless steel VC cooling system plus stand against our flagship? As you can see, Samsung S21 is around 3 degrees Celsius higher than the GT Neo 2. This may not look much, but it can certainly affect your user experience in the long run. In the lab test against Samsung S21, the thermal control of GT Neo 2 kicked in immediately to ensure the consistent performance. All in all, this is our most polished heat dissipation system we have just yet. It will help you manage temperature of GT Neo 2 much better for those long gaming sessions, as well as will maintain better battery life of the device. And speaking of battery, Realme GT Neo 2 features a massive 5,000 mAh battery. This is also by far the largest battery capacity or not on any smartphone running on Snapdragon 870 processor. That means you can expect up to 24 hours of video playback and up to 8 hours of gaming on a single charge. But just in case you finally need to top out your battery, we've got you covered with our signature 65 watt Super Dark Charge, bringing 0 to 100% in just under 36 minutes. In terms of RAM, I'm glad to share that GT Neo 2 will be shipping with up to 12 GB of RAM. And to take things up a notch, GT Neo 2 also features the beloved dynamic RAM expansion to effectively expand the RAM with up to extra 7 GB. This will allow you to read and write file faster. GT Neo 2 also comes with up to 256 GB UFS 3.1 storage. This is also the fastest storage we have shipped to date. USF 3.1 technology will allow you to read and write files and data faster than its predecessor. So in summary, GT Neo 2 comes with the most polished performance in our GT lineup. Every product choice we made was to make sure GT Neo 2 is able to run on a consistent, fluid performance. It has a powerfully stable Snapdragon 870 processor, an all-new stainless steel vapor cooling plus with up to 12 GB UFS 3.1 RAM for the ultra-fast read and write speed. Last and not least, a 5,000 mAh battery with 65 watt super dark charge that powers your day in just under 36 minutes. The fourth thing I want to talk about is camera. Camera has become one of the most used feature in a smartphone. It has also become one of the key focus for Realme. GT Neo 2 has one of the most compelling camera setup for everyday power users and street photographers. That's because we have added three real camera lenses, including a 64 megapixel main camera, to make sure you are capable of capturing every moment. We have also included the same street photography mode in GT Neo 2, which happens to be a favorite camera feature that was only found on Realme GT Master Edition previously. The film simulation filters and DIS snapshot works across cameras, making it one of the best mobile street photography camera in the market today. The fifth thing I want to talk about is Realme UI. Like what I mentioned at the start, we believe a well-polished flagship experience is a combination of hardware and software working together seamlessly. This is why we have invested so much energy into optimizing your Realme smartphone to stay fluid and fast. Furthermore, we also make sure the look of Realme UI stays as clean as possible while giving you the liberty to personalize it to your liking. Today, we are taking Realme UI to the next level with Realme UI 3.0. For that, I would like to bring out Alessio 
to share with you everything about Realme UI 3.0. Thank you, JJ. So everyone, I'd like to introduce to you Realme UI 3.0, which is based on the most recent Android 12. Design has always been one of Realme's strengths. So when designing Realme UI 3.0, we focused on user's feedback and took a vivid inspiration from reality. The outcome is a brand new style that's going to make your eyes pop out. We name it Fluid Space Design. This time, the design is more fluid, the layout is more spatial, and the overall UI experience is more expressive. Firstly, in terms of icon design, we have implemented a completely new 3D icon design. Our new icon design can be seen on the right. The outlining adds weight, and we use a semi-transparent design where different objects overlap to give it a younger feel. In the whole icon area, we added color projections resembling the main colors, which brings a greater sense of texture and dimension. The entire sensor design becomes more vibrant and three-dimensional once these elements are adjusted. It retains a sense of familiarity while adding a more fun 3D vibe. Of course, in comparison to Realme UI 2.0, we added a wider range of colors to better fit the diverse personalities of young people. Not only that, but we chose a layout that gives a special sense of throughout. We lowered information density by leaving more white space. The title size, as well as the symbol and text contrast, have been in haste to give consumers a sense of importance and concentration concerning the information they're receiving. This results in a more pleasant visual experience. As you can see, Realme UI 3.0 provides a see-through visual layout, allowing our users to fully appreciate each page. In addition to the enhancement of the design, we also bring more practical features. Personalization, fluidity, and privacy have also been greatly improved. Our Realme UI has always allowed for a great deal of personalization. Icons, backgrounds, fonts, and other elements may all be customized to suit the user taste. This time, not only did we make the overall theme colors customizable, or you can just choose any of your favorite rules and use them as the theme color, but we also made it possible to play around more with the always-on display. Users can modify the always-on display in Realme UI 3.0. You can upload a photo and enjoy a unique always-on display design that belongs to you and you only. Meanwhile, we also launched an always-on display of our Realme mascot, Real Meow. Look, each Real Meow has its own personality. Just choose the one that appeals to you the most and enjoy your all-new always-on display style. We also have lots of emojis, like ghosts, food, objects from everyday life, and simply everything you can think of. Use them for your always-on display or account ID for added fun and customization. Productivity and multitasking are the major motivators for today's youth, whether they're studying or working. Therefore, fluidity is an important focus for young people. According to our research, the majority of users have been really pleased with the fluid experience of Realme UI 2.0. And this has been further improved in Realme UI 3.0. Firstly, let's focus on the optimization of the basic system functions. The AI Smooth Engine is being introduced in Realme UI 3.0, which adds all around smoothness and reduces power consumption in the underlying logic. The total rate of memory usage has been enhanced, memory fragmentation has been minimized, and different programs are intelligently launched thanks to the AI memory comprehension and unified resource scheduling. This decreases memory usage by 30%, improves overall app launching performance by 13%, and increases battery life by 12%. At the same time, we optimize the animations. Previously, the speed of animations and the speed of gestures 
were tightly linked in the interaction animation. However, in the real world, this causes animations to change too quickly and the gestures end up being too rapid and, as a result, uncomfortable. The animation engine determines the dynamic change or damping to constrain the movement and curvature of these objects. The effect follows the gesture more comfortably and thus it becomes more fluid. We also launched in Floating Window 2.0. You may control your floating windows as you like, making them even more practical and convenient in a variety of communication and usage scenarios. Young people love to socialize, sharing their hobbies and interests, and creating a deeper bond with like-minded people. Yet, the ease of sharing brings privacy concerns. Realme UI 3.0 also updates its privacy functions to assure that your personal data and information are safer than ever before. Realme UI 3.0 has a new subtitle stitching feature that allows you to share your favorite pictures or videos privately. To safely share your life's moments, you may opt to delete the photo's location information and photographic data, including the timestamp, camera model, and settings. We also added extra limitations to app permissions. In the case of location data, for example, non-specific locations are utilized to safeguard location privacy. You can see the use of application permission in graphic list of apps permission and detailed information about the use of specific applications, allowing you to master your privacy use in all aspects. This time, our phone manager has also been reconstructed to bring together more security features in the phone system, which not only makes the phone manager more functional, but also makes it easier for users to find and use relevant security tools. Exciting much? We'll do our best to get Realme UI 3.0 to you as soon as possible. In December, we will be officially launching our Realme UI 3.0. Thank you, Alessio. So in case you are still wondering why Realme GT Neo 2 is our most polished flagship yet, let's do a quick recap. So far, I've been focusing on five key ingredients of Realme GT Neo 2. The design is fresh, and crafted with an obsessive details of attention down to the curvature of the device. An E4 120Hz AMOLED panel for absolute clarity and color reproduction for all of your favorite content. The performance of GT Neo 2 is consistently fluid thanks to the stainless steel VC cooling system and Snapdragon 870 processor, along with software optimization. A 5000 mAh battery paired with our signature 65W Super Dark Charge ensure you get a full day of power in just under 36 minutes. The triple camera works just how you would expect a straight photography cam focused camera should. Finally, Realme UI 3.0 is our most refined and personalized operating system while giving you dozens of new useful features. Welcome to Realme AI launch event. As everybody knows, Realme has always insisted on our Dare to Leap mission. We strive to help more young people enjoy advanced technology. From the Realme A Pro's 108 megapixel camera, to the 7 Pro's first 65 watt flash charge, to the Realme 7's world's first G95 processor. This series keeps bringing cutting-edge technology to more and more users. So in what ways is the Realme AI cutting-edge? Let's take a look. As a company with trend-setting design imprinted on its DNA, 
Real Me naturally went all out on the design. Let's first take a look at one of the available colors, Space Black. It's a just a standard black color, but when you look at it as a whole, can you feel that it has a different texture? That's because this color was fine-tuned dozens of times by our designers, until we settled on adding 5% brown to the black tint. This tiny additional brown gives the overall texture a much greater sense of dimension. It feels more alive than pure black and more elegant than just brown. To take this stunning color to the next level, we incorporated a flowing design concept. The arc beam texture has given the phone a shinier, smoother appearance that makes the black color just look as eye-catching while you're holding it. In addition, the phone comes in purple, a color that's been very popular lately. We paired it with the same flowing design and it looks like a dazzling purple galaxy. The colors around the camera and the entire body are consistent, bringing a higher sense of harmony. The device is also extremely light and thin, coming at just 8.5 millimeters and 194 grams. So no matter where you place it, the Realme AI becomes a part of the scenery. We also made major optimizations to the performance. The device is equipped with a G96 chipset. The G96 is a processor that Realme and MediaTek jointly oversaw and launched. For this processor, Realme assigned seven senior engineers to guide the whole process. Over the course of 106 days, they had technically optimized three major performance features. The Helio G96 is the only G9 series a chipset that can power 120 Hz displays. It supports a Realme force screen whose brightness can reach as low as one nit, and the gaming performance also surpasses the one of Realme 7i, providing a smoother gaming experience. It's a really a powerful processor. Compared to Realme 7i, the performance of AI has improved by 65%. That's amazing. The Helio G96 is manufactured using a 12 nanometer process. It has two large A75 cores and six small A55 cores, and its main frequency reaches up to 2.05 gigahertz. Compared to Realme 7i, the GPU has improved by 91% and the CPU by 51%. This is our newly launched Helio G96, created to bring users a higher performance experience. In select regions, carrying the 6 plus 128 gigabyte version, we also added 5 gigabytes of virtual RAM, so the original 6 gigabyte RAM can now become 11 gigabytes. This is a technology upgraded from computers to smartphones to improve the phone's overall smoothness. As you see, the opening time of AI applications is much faster than 7i. We also majorly improved the overall experience. First, Realme AI features an impressive 120 Hz refresh rate, the first in its price range to do so. You can see that the 120 Hz screens generally show up in a higher price range around 250 to 400 USD. Realme is continuing to take leaps with technology, letting more young people enjoy a smoother experience. Compared to 60 Hz, 120 Hz delivers noticeably smoother visual effects, and six different refresh rates are supported to help the phone conserve battery power. Also, the overall screen reaches a massive 6.6 .6 inches, giving you a superior visual experience as well as a 100% DCI-P3 color space and a 180 Hz touch sampling rate. Meanwhile, the skin can go from 60 nits to just one nit, with one nit being the lowest brightness level. Even at night, your eyes can stay comfortable while you use your phone. And this is the Realme AI visual upgrade. 
In addition, the phone is equipped with a massive 5,000 million per battery and 18 watt fast charge. In any situation, it can provide ultra long lasting battery life. Your Mi AI's camera performance is great too. It has a 50 megapixel primary lens, a 4 centimeter ultra macro lens, and a black and white portrait photography lens. Look at how every detail really has a texture in a photo taken at 50 megapixel. And the ultra macro shows off the multifaceted macro world. Of course, it also has AI beauty and portrait mode, so your selfie also have a sense of texture. If you're a vlogger, your Mi AI has a new take on vlogs as well. The super fun dual view video lets you take videos from two perspectives simultaneously, recording with both the front and rear lenses. You can record wonderful moments from both angles so you don't miss a single reaction. This is our newest A-series product in the number series, Realme AI. Outstanding from every aspect. Let's look at the product video to get a more in-depth understanding. I, 120 hertz, infinitely smooth, view me, dead to leap. Next, I'm excited to introduce our new gaming accessories. Realme Cooling Back Clip Neo, Realme Mobile Game Trigger, and Realme Type-C Super Dart Game Cable. Realme Cooling Back Clip Neo adopts a semiconductor combination heat sink to dissipate heat. With an efficient cooling effect and a huge heat dissipation area, so you don't have to worry about your phone heating up while playing games. In addition, our Realme Mobile Game Trigger is also a must-have for gamers. It features an intuitive clip-on design adapted to the current mainstream models. A zinc alloy material trigger, a gaming mobile touch, and a high sensitivity for operations without delay, bringing you a more immersive gaming experience. For gamers, we also launched the Realme Type-C Super Dark Game Cable, which adopts an ultra-durable nylon braiding cable and a 7.6 millimeter ultra-narrow elbow design to keep your hand out of the way when playing games. The cable supports a 65 watt Super Dark charging, a multi-charging system for fast and safe charging. The next product I want to talk about is Nazo. Nuzzle is about bringing the best mobile gaming experience to the youth. Today, we want to bring our popular Nuzzle series to the next level with Nuzzle 50 series. We focus on three product pillars when designing Nuzzle series. Nuzzle series focuses on putting the best possible mobile gaming performance with design aesthetics heavily inspired by mobile gamers like you. All this in a complete package at a price that is accessible for everyone. The Realme Nuzzle 50A. Mighty performance on the inside, stylish gaming design on the outside. Made for everyday mobile gamers. Let's start with design. We continue to take inspiration from the beloved diagonal stripe design from Realme Nuzzle 30A and refine it even further. Nuzzle 50A now features a more constrained, elegant diagonal stripe design. You get the same motion waves aesthetics with a good strides of dynamic balance on overall visual. In case you haven't noticed already, this time we have moved the fingerprint sensor right into the camera module housing to create a more harmonious integrated design. Nuzzle 58 comes in two colors, oxygen blue and oxygen green. We hope you like the new refined design as much as we do. Right at the front, Nuzzle 58 features a 6.5-inch large display size with a 88.7% screen-to-body ratio. Content now feels more immersive than ever before. Thanks to its super bright 517 nits display, you can see every details of your favorite game even under direct sunlight. 
One of the most important department all mobile gamers will look at is the performance. So let's talk about performance. The Nuzzle 50A is powered by the all-time popular Halo G85 processor. This is a very capable processor with the capability of running GPU at 1 GHz peak, making real-time graphic demanding game run as smooth as butter. Continuing from there, it also features two Cortex-A75 cores running at 2 Hz each for great overall performance. Now, let's talk about battery life. This is perhaps the biggest pain point for any mobile gamers. This is why we continue to include a 6,000 mAh battery in Nuzzle 50A, making Nuzzle 50A one of the smartphones in its class with the largest battery capacity. In actual practice, this translates to up to continuous 8 hours of gaming, 27 hours of video playback, and up to 111 hours of music playback. And you can still get up to 2.4 hours of call time when the device is at just 5%. We achieved this amazing battery results through a couple of smart software optimization, including app quick freeze, sleep standby optimization, and so on. Nuzzle 50 also comes with 18 watt quick charge charger right out of the box, so you can juice up your Nuzzle 50 in the blink of an eye. With reverse charging, you can even charge your Realme ALT devices on the go. Now, let's talk about one of the most used features in Nuzzle, and that is the camera. We continue to offer the best-in-class photography experience in Nuzzle 50A with a 50-megapixel AI triple camera setup. This is one of the highest resolution camera in this class. With 50-megapixel primary camera, you are able to capture every pixel and details in a single snap. This is an illustration of what I mean. You can see that the details and clarities are still intact in both 50% and 100% zoom. This is especially useful when you want to recompose or reframe your photos afterwards. Now, let's talk about filters. Filters are one of the easiest and fastest way to bring your photography shots to the next level. Today, we are going to introduce not one, but two new filters for you to express the artistic side of you. They are Astral and Dezo. Astral Filters is tuned to let you capture the city night game in its truest form while bringing up the dynamic range and contrast and layering over a hint of fade to create a mistake mode to your shots. Dezo filter is my personal favorite. The filter is designed to make your photos pop by bringing up the saturations and hues while keeping the rest of the colors as realistic as possible. At the front, Nuzzle 50A features an 8 megapixel selfie camera to capture the best of you. We have included two selfie features to do just that. They are AI Beauty and HDR Mode. With AI Beauty, the real-time computation will optimize your skin tone to match your surrounding. And if you want to add more pops to your selfies, simply turn on the HDR Mode. Nuzzle 50A also features a triple cut slot with an expandable storage up to 256GB for your content. On top of that, you can run two SIM cards simultaneously. So, this is the all-new Nuzzle 50A. It features a powerful Halo G85 gaming processor, 6,000 mAh mega battery, 50 megapixel AI triple camera for your everyday photography. Noise cancelling.
Okay, Google, what's the weather? Realme Smart TV X. Vivid vision, stunning sound. Narzo 50A, mighty performance inside. Real me, dare to leap. I, 120 hertz, infinitely smooth, real me, dead to leap. Realme GT Neo 3, world's fastest 150 watts charging flagship. Realme, dare to leave. Realme smartphone, dare to leave.